brother and sisters, your brother G World 7 underscore D. I may do a video while I'm driving around Dalton in the morning, probably the next few weeks or something. I may do a video going to Dalton or something, which is not very far from me. You keep hearing, but you know, I want to make a correction with that, with the Dalton stuff. You keep hearing most people talking about Dalton is 30 to 25 minutes outside the city. That's not accurate. It depends on where you live, man. City Bexy saying the downtown area is about 30 minutes from downtown. Um, yeah, it's about 30 minutes from downtown Dalton. Uh, but if you depend on where you live in the south side of Chicago, it it varies. You know, you talking about from 95th Street. It seems like the city, you just think that's the far south it goes, which is a joke. But if you go from 95th Street, I can say it's about, it can range between 15 to 20 minutes. All right? If you're coming from the Morgan Park Beverly area, it's about 12 minutes. If you're coming from the Rosen area, Pullman area, it's about 6 minutes. If you come from the Riverdale area, it's about one minute, <laughs> two minutes. So it depends on where you live. The Riverdale area is it's the, it's the area called Riverdale. And then there's, I said this before in the video, and there's a um, areas of Riverdale, and then there's the suburb of Riverdale. So it depends on where you live at, how far you from Dalton. So Dalton is a base here. It's called City Suburb. It's like Everston is on the other side of Howard or a little bit down from Howard. I mean, you were on the city, north side of the city of Chicago, like 70 like something hundred, and then you go to, and then you went to Everston. That's how Dalton is. Because you have Dalton, Riverdale, and then you also had Calumet Park. You go further east, you get Calumet City. You also have Bremen, too. So, you, not Bremen. Is it? Yeah, Bremen. Bremen. I think it's Bremen. So, you have all these little south suburbs. All of them that vicinity. You get some further south. The Homewood, Flossom. Glenwood, Glenwood, all them suburbs. <coughs> um, Ford Heights is probably one of the poorest suburbs in the country, not the poorest. Which used to be East Chicago Heights and then Chicago Heights. Um, South Chicago Heights. I think that's what it's called, South Chicago Heights. Matson or Mattison, I don't know how to don't know pronounce it. Olympia Fields. <coughs> Uh, Hazelcrest, East Hazelcrest, and all them different suburbs, Country Club Hills. Can't forget about the CC Hills. So all, all those suburbs out in the better vicinity. <coughs> those South suburbs, there's more. Thornton, Lansing, you know, so you have, you have so many of them where you have a large black population there. So and it's basically just look at the South suburbs, just the South side of Chicago. You know, there's suburbs like really the South side of Chicago. South of Chicago. But it is good that people are checking out some of the Dalton um, <coughs> board meetings. You also should check out University Park board meetings. <laughs> you know, it was kind of funny out there too. <laughs> but uh, uh, who else? Maybe Riverdale. Because they had a corruption with their mayor seven years ago where their mayor was um, taken out of office and arrested, if I'm correct. And so Riverdale, which is next door to Dalton. <laughs> Their mayor was thrown in the slammer. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's, it's a lot of corruption been going on for a long time. <clears throat> and uh, it's nothing new. But she's probably the worst, man. This chick is the worst. This chick is blatantly just doing some crazy ass stuff, man. It just, it's, just, it's really sad what she's doing. And the suburb of Dalton getting a negative look. Because Dalton was not always like that. I said that in other videos. Dalton was not always like that. Dalton, <coughs> people used to, you know, have pride living in Dalton. Hey, I moved to Dalton. I'm living in Dalton. I go to Thorn Ridge High School or Thornton High School. And I think she went to Thornton. She lived in, she grew up in Dalton, but she went to Thornton. Because I, I forgot how they uh, mapped that stuff out. Because even though you live in Dalton, you may go to Thornton, maybe depending on your zoning, where you live at. Because there's... They are, they're part of the 205 district, if I'm correct. Thornton, which is in Harvey. Thorn Ridge, which is in Dalton, which I thought she went to. And then Thornwood, which is in South Holland. Um, and 
then obviously we had the other Thornton schools, the Thornton Fraction of North and some Cal City, Thornton Fraction of South and Lansing. I don't know if it's part of the same district, but I know them definitely Thornton schools are part of two, 205. I think it's a 205 district, 205. <clears throat> so, but so you, you um, those areas used to be pretty decent, man. Pretty decent. You know, so, but it's sad how it's been just been deteriorating. If you go through dog, man, it's, it's sort of depressing. It's, it's some things you remember as a kid going to see, man, oh, it should be cool, we'll just come out here. But then now it's like it's gone and just things deteriorating, abandoned houses and all that stuff. Streets are torn up, man. Fire hydrants and all <clears throat> have been restored. It just, it's really bad. But I, I will go to the, I go to the food for less out there. I go there. That's my way, I guess, to uh, remember the suburb of the past. And the food for less is like down the street from the high school, Thorn Ridge, the Ridge, which they look like they've done some work on a football field. They need to do some work on a damn school. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, and then Jewel, the Jewel used to be there now in South Holland. Huh? So that's down the, further down the street. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna probably do a video when I'm walking around in Dalton, Illinois. Uh, yeah, I used to go all that, always out there as a kid. And so I still remember, like I said, I still go to Food for Less out there off of Sibley Boulevard. Because you have, on the Dalton side, you have the Food for Less. And I want to say the Cal City side, they have the Pete Market store. Yeah, so, but I'm going to, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm going to go there. <coughs> we got to have that little boat now in that place where they had the stepper step stuff at. Right there in Sibley. <coughs> The kids gonna be getting, but she since she's half Senegalese, half Senegalian, she's going to, she's leaning towards called Africa because that's been bombarded to us to worship so-called Africa, you know, which we're not African. And I do not like when we get these African males and females, mostly it's women, but some of the males tell us who we are, and then they use the term. Well, some of you were there before. There were some black people. I'm just learning that black people were there before. Uh, Columbus, and yeah, and some of them were, they were, you can be the engine. I mean, he's a term like engine, really? Engine? That's like some damn John Wayne racist move. All the damn engines are coming. Come on, man. Really? Engine? <sighs> this is what these bastards do. <laughs> they want to make us something that we're not telling us to go back so-called home, which is just our home. But why they fleeing their ass here? It doesn't make any sense, man. That's called replacement to me. You go there to this fake ass uh, Wakanda land, and they come here to the beloved land, <laughs> and still your identity and replace you. And then you don't wake up until later on and say, "Ooh, what the hell happened?" This is what these individuals are doing. So you gotta see it. So I want you to pay attention to detail. Pay attention to detail. That's how these individuals <clears throat> are stealing everything we we created <clears throat> and then claiming that they invented it. Like Burma Boy. Dude in the video wearing Timberlands and stuff, man, and then using beats from Tony Braxton and Brandy, stuff from the 90s and the 80s, and then claiming they're doing something new. Making the hell up out of here, man. 
this was invented by Nigerians after all oh, yeah. that stuff was taken into very different Aboriginal American music styles and created that thing yeah. So I, I, I don't personally I don't listen to Afro things I don't care for. Alright? I don't care for it. I don't like it. I don't like it, period, man. And I think a lot of those artists, man, are very disingenuous and cultural. Now I will I will say this, I do think, uh, what's that woman named, Tim, says she has some talent, but there's so many talented young black women here that are way more talented, man, that I prefer to hear. But the, but the, the flat out thievery of our culture from people who have skin tone that's similar to us, and they're doing that tells you that not all skin folks are kin folks. We're gonna to have to understand it. We're gonna to have to get out of this mess that, oh, because they're black, they are brothers and sisters. I tell you before, <clears throat> if you really start studying so called black history, you realize that some of the stuff you're not going to like. Because there's a lot of traitors who look like us, who did everything they can to try to destroy our empires and try to seek power for their own damn greed. You're gonna to have to understand that. You're going to have to basically reprogram yourself from the lies that you just brought over here in slave in 1619. That's not your history, man. That's some mess the white folks created. And you got niggas bragging about, I was on the 1619 project. Shut your ass up. And you got a lot of those foreign blacks. I, I was on the 1619 project. I, I helped. Oh, shut your ass up. You help continue to push misinformation. As long as that goofy red haired chick, man. You know, her hair looked like that old mythical Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But instead of having a red nose, she had a red hair, man. She sounded like a clown. But you're going to have to really put in the work and do the research. But the information's there. I've always said this over and over again. The information's there. But you're going to have to want to seek it. And if you do not try to seek it, man, you're going to continue to remain ignorant of who you are. Lack of knowledge of who you are. Lack of full knowledge. Lack of true knowledge of who you are. Understanding who you really are. You basically be that lost in space ship. <laughs> but you'll be lost in space, man. I'm serious. You will be lost in the atmosphere. But no, but for real. It's very important to do the research and take the time out to do the research, man. I tell you, and I I said this in other videos, it's very rewarding and very fulfilling. And it will be of help to you. So to understand, understand the main picture is that you're going to have to constantly do research. You can't stop. Because every time you discover something new, each and every time when you continue to do your research, that's an ever, that's a life going thing, you will discover something new. Don't always think you know everything. All right? That's unfortunate with the clown from the Amara Squad. Though that Dr. Reggie, this stupid ass, man. That, that, that's a stupid dude. And the smirk in his face. Like I said, these Negroes know that they're on the muck in our community and they're being paid off by white folks to continue to push out, assimilate, misinformation. These Negroes are being paid off. And a lot of these Negroes are also sleeping, laying down with foreign women or women that are not even melanated. A lot of these Negroes are doing that, man. So don't listen to them. They're helping to participate in the bleaching out of our people. These are clowns. Do not trust any of them, man. Because the information's out there. There's too much information out there telling you who you really are, showing you who you really are. And it's right under your fingertips. But that's up to you if you want to seek that information. If you don't, hell. Hey, that's up to you. But the information is there. It's there for you to seek. It's there for you to get. But it's up to you. Do you want it? But the, the lost Negro don't want it. And they want to keep you lost. Or they're being paid off. Like Sinetta, Jabari. They're getting a healthy salary to lie to you, to misinform you. I'm telling you now. Them Negroes, I'm for sure, are getting a nice cut by someone outside of our community 
who's being a puppet master to their sorry asses. Because they're basically deflecting and denying. What they're doing is deflecting, denying, and putting up a fake defense to continue to push that damn lie that they've been pushing. So the three Ds, deflecting, denying, and defense of their lies. Do not trust these Negroes, man. Do not trust these Negroes. Continue to do your own research and you will get that information. It's right there, man. It's under your fingertips and under your nose. And you gotta pay attention to detail. When you do this research, you pay attention to the little detail. Pay attention to the way they, how they dress, um, how the ships look. Did the ship have like a cow horn in the front of it? Or how they design the ships, and that is in boats, the clothes, the possibly fabric of the damn clothes. The wear the shoes, how the shoes look, how they if they did if they tattooed the parts of their body, what parts of their body did they tattoo? Did they tattoo their eyes? Or did they do some type of piercing? Did they wear like large earrings or earlobes to their ears? Look, pay attention to every damn detail. What I'm giving you is pay attention to detail. When you do your research, pay attention to detail. Look at the very finite of the information that's out there. Look at it. Zoom in it. Zoom in on it. Then magnify it. And blow it up. And then you'll see you basically basically configure your own information. Configure everything together and create your own information. Because the information is there, man. It's right in your face. When you look at these architectural structures that white folks that create those damn designs, they stole that from the Aboriginal blacks who created it. Right in your face. And uh, these Negroes who deny this man are traitors. They're traitors. These Negroes who deny are traitors. You just gotta see them for what they are, man. Sellouts. Period. They will continue to sell you out because they've been miseducated with their damn degrees. Some of them don't have degrees, but most of them have these damn degrees, man. And they're ignorant as hell. They're ignorant as hell. They claim that they go to school, they've read what them white teachers or them Negro teachers told them to read, they've memorized, but they have not critically evaluated and done no critical thinking. You're not taught to be a critical thinker. You're taught to memorize some BS, put it down in multiple choice, whatever, or write it back out the way the teacher wants to uh, hear the narrative. Man, I'm telling you, these Negroes have been heavily programmed, and they're too stupid to break up out of there because they feel that their little title or what they have read, what the white teachers told them to read or Negro teachers told them to read, that they're so-called important and they're more important than all other black folks, pastors. All right, brothers and sisters, brothers, you were a simple this